So today I've got something a little special and exclusive to show you. It's going to be a bit of a longer video and Windows did mess with my audio. You know Windows be doing that sometimes. It's 100% in my gain, so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. I've adjusted it with some compression in Vegas. And this being an extremely early build, literally two months this game has been in development for. This was shown to me over a Discord call in Unreal Engine, so apologies for any graininess. Just a quick summary before we get to the main event. I've known White Rabbit for many years and we've conversated over new gaming news and things like that quite a few times over the years, but he's just made a new development team, Wolf Den Game Studios with a couple of friends, and they want to make their own extraction based game inspired by Escape from Tarkov and Hunt Showdown. It's going to be PvPVE and have a bit of a paranormal spooky spin to it, but set in the modern day. I will leave links to their Facebook and Discord in the description below. There will be a Twitter and a website coming very soon, so keep an eye on those. And with all that said, I hope you enjoy this long exclusive look at Project Hunter. And we are preparing like several maps of course, but this is the main one for now. And it will be not like, you know, you will go into demo like straight to the matches and go to the map. You will have even your own safe house. Ah, okay, so you're going proper Tarkov style with the safe house. Yeah, not as Tarkov, I would say, like, uh, we will be making it even like part of the main menu. Uh, when you load the game, uh, it will basically open in the safe house. Oh, okay. Yeah, you will be basically in the safe house with your character, you can modify your character in there, like, you will stand bef uh, before the mirror, and you can modify your character, you can modify your clothing in, in the stage, you can modify your weapons, of course. And uh, the same goes, like, even for entering the missions, you will basically go to the computer and choose basically the zone you want to go in. Inspir uh, inspired by the Tarkov again. Yeah, just but... a lot more streamlined kind of thing. Yeah, and you will be of course able to even upgrade it, like uh, that safe house in the future. But for the demo, it will, it will be basically like that, and you will be like you know really living in it. And you mentioned a demo. Is this first map you're making going to be the one that's on the demo? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This will be basically the main map of the demo and if it will be popular we will add even more so are you going to steam with it but making a steam page and all um that? yeah we were thinking about where we want to go and the steam is there like but as a second place uh, because we are using unreal engine 5 we want to go to the epic because Epic is much better for developers. Ah, like, okay. Yeah, I think there still is space for the... Yeah, I assume it's going to be the extraction-based survival game where you get your loot yeah. and get out, yeah. So there's there's still space for that kind of thing, I think. We've got Tarkov is probably the biggest name. Hunt Showdown is probably, probably up there. Not as big as it should be, Hunt. I think it, it doesn't get the love it deserves, but um, we're getting a couple of new games here and there coming in, like Dr. Disrespect's game that I covered not long ago which is yep. an extraction game um but there's nothing that's like tarkov is just it's gone gone viral but nothing else seems to have gone viral like that so i think there's definitely yeah. space for a new extraction game to kind of take take some of the limelight away from tarkov so is that why you just uh, you made a new dev team and got people together just to make your vision of a pve v pvp yeah, but extraction basically game? yeah basically uh we were talking even uh, of course about the potential and about the like you know not enough type of games like these in the market right now there is like even dark and darker of course but i don't count it as a like you know as a competition there will be like really supernatural things and even the like looking for the trace the trails of the boss will be a little different against like for example hunt because you will have to like uh really look for the clues and like solve them 
they will be, uh, there will be like some puzzles you know for that and in our cases you will have even to look around yourself like up and down because we have even underground areas and we have like you know rooftops and everything that you ah, can so you've got go. ver verticality as well yeah we we wanted to add the verticality because we think like that's one thing that's uh, missing in both of those games yeah definitely so i can finally show you what we did actually so this is basically the map now okay and the whole square is going to be the whole map with the trees yeah. inside it will be basically a square zone for now uh, the other maps will not be like such a square i would say uh this was like uh because it's our first map and we had like you know some knowledge how to do it we wanted to make sure the first map will be really balanced in every way yeah so are you gonna have it so that wall around the outside is like the town's yeah. locked off kind of thing exactly so basically this is the first zone we are working on right now and it doesn't look so big i would say it's looking like a small part of the whole map but when you are inside of that map it's actually quite big yeah i was gonna say when you're down there it looks huge and then you zoomed out and it's like oh it's only a little bit of it done but it looks huge when yeah. you're in there and that's what i was talking about like uh, when it's cramped enough you will have like so many things to do here and look after that it's like you know uh making the feeling like on a roll another level yeah like we will have, have exits of course like tarkov has and even hunt has uh it's similar i would say in some ways again so this is one of the exits that you will be able to use to go out of the map you will be able to leave the map whenever you want so it doesn't make you you know to play the whole match because the main point of the match is of course to catch the boss kill yeah. it and extract but you will have even some sub tasks and if those are more important for you and you don't need the money and experience you will get from the boss killing you can leave it depends entirely on you and we will have like even a health system but it will be not so like tarkov like i would say it will be much easier more in the style of hunt yeah so you will be again like you know having uh things to heal and you will be able like to revive your like companions but it will be like you know you can be down for example only three times if you will be down for the third time you are dead yeah so if you will be in a fight and you know you died already a few times and there is like no chance to revive you anymore you can always leave So with all the buildings you've got, how much uh, is enterable that people can use? Well, that's uh, the one thing that Unreal makes possible. And that's the thing we want to make sure uh, each building will be enterable. Okay. So you will have to be really careful because you never know where can anyone be. So for example, this was actually the first building we made and we were testing basically everything about it and i have to say right off the bat yes we are using assets yeah uh because right now we don't have enough like 3d graphics and we want to move fast and it's much cheaper of course to use the packs so yes we are using assets and we are not going to lie to the players that we don't use them yeah for sure well you're only a startup development team and this is your first kind of a project so yes yeah. totally expected anyway and how many people are on the team at the moment eight actually eight and we are taking more like during the week i think three will be joined so uh back to the assets what i wanted to say is like yes we are using the assets but 
the most important thing for me is that we are basically everything building by hand and using it our own way, even though those are assets. So for example, this building has three entry points right now. One is uh, here, that's through the shop. Um, it's a little dark, so I will unlit it so you can see better. So, nice. as you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff going on in the shop. Yep. And everything is affected by the light of outside, of course. So, uh, the day, uh, day uh, changes during the gameplay and even the weather changes during the gameplay. So, you will be able to see every time differently in that match. So it's we we recommend to everyone later on to use the flashlight on the gun. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So this is basically first entry point. The main entry point is this one, and you can basically go from here. So in each building, we will have like more entry points. We want players to be like you know not afraid to enter the building. We want them to like go into the buildings and you know think where sh you should go, uh, what you can find there, you know, you will have to look for everything. You can find even pre-made guns here, so... For the clues, basically, we will use something like that. Stations, where you can go to the computer and it will basically tell you some coordinates or it will tell you something about the boss you can find in that map. Okay, cool. And it will make you, like, you know, uh, it will be not so easy, like, in the hunt that it will, like, cover the part of the map. Because yeah. you will have your map, but you will not see, like, anything interactive on it like that. So you will ha have to really, like, listen for the coordinates, and you will have to figure out the coordinates on the map. Another thing uh, which is important, like, hunt, for example, has, like, that sixth sense that you can use to like find those clues. Yeah. So we were we were thinking about it like if they use basically the view, we will be using the sound. So every player will be will be ex uh, equipped with a walkie-talkie, and if you take it in the hand, you can listen like to the noise from the like you know uh, satellites, and closer to the noise, there will be those coordinates. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool, yeah. So it's basically like, you know, it was it was basically a child's game when we were like, you know, small. It was called something like a cold and heat. And when you were uh, you were blinded and when you were far away, you were called that it's cold. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that game, yeah. Yeah, so, so basically we were thinking about it like this. So yeah, uh, back to the <laughs> locations, that was another entry point and there is even this entry point for the diner because we are trying to have it like a real city, we want to have like real locations. So you have diners, you have garages, you have a police station, there will be basically everything like that. And for sure like houses like this in the like first floor they have basically like shops and things like that so the living is above so yeah we have like several like rooms and you can go like through them whenever you like and however you like so what are you uh, planning on doing with like the loot is it going to be physical loot laid up like on a table and stuff like that or uh, as well as loot inside boxes or one or the other or both yeah we will be using both of them actually so you will be able to go to the basically this rack and you can be like you will find a weapon there yeah. but the spawn will be always ra random so you never know if yeah. it, it will be there or not we don't want to make players you know tired of the things like that they will always find it on yeah, one totally spot. random so it's different each time you play and um because of the darkness in there when you turn the light back on there reminded me yeah. and mentioned about torches you, you're gonna have it so darkness you're gonna you're gonna be kind of forced to use a light source and give away position 
uh, yeah, you will be a little forced to it, but I will show it like this because we have actually a function in the game uh, to make it more realistic, I would say, that doesn't show on this camera. And the function is that uh, your eyesight changes inside of the buildings like ah, okay you accommodate you accommodate yourself in the building so for example this is just again like you know for testing push pauses yeah so if you enter you can see that i see much better than i saw with the camera itself oh before. yeah it slowly got a little bit better there at the start yeah, yeah so the flashlight is basically needed here because there is basically one window and this is a big hole so you can't expect too much light here. Yeah, because one thing with Hunt and I've um, people that I play with have said that Hunt used to have really dark nights and used to have to use yeah. a lantern to see but they made the nights brighter and the lantern is useless now. Nobody yeah, uses exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. It had it. I was playing like Hunt from the beginning when the dark night was there and it was really a much funny experience for me because i enjoyed the darkness yeah, in the darkness the as well I, i'd be so much more scared and i yeah. just i'd hide yeah the atmosphere was like on another level so as you can see the light is like quite different when i'm in the eyes of the player and it adduced so if i like stare for longer into the light or something it changes entirely yeah it's looking awesome so, so we are making sure that like you know the lightning is set up like in a real life basically so if i go to the room now that i was in you will see there is much more light oh yeah that's totally different yeah and if you see it starts to brighten up a little is that using lumen are you using the full yeah, we are using five? Yeah, we are using Lumen, we are using Nanite, we are using basically all the technology that there is. We will be even like uh, going for 5.2, which was now presented, but we want to wait for it because right now uh, 5.2 is like only in the test. Yeah. So we don't want to go there yet. So as you can see, I was standing here in the dark for longer. And now I can see much more. And that's the thing like that Unreal makes possible, of course. I'm just blown away that you managed to do this in like two months. Yeah, like we were having quite a lot of fun actually. And when you are doing something you like, it's it's like going much faster, I would say. So this is basically the accommodations. There is like uh, one apartment here. And we are trying again to make it like someone lived there. So we know that there are some things that you know we can't make like 100% accurate and like the best looking and everything because we are using buying uh, both assets, of course, for now. But that's something we want to change in the future. If we get promoted enough and we get the sponsors, we would like to like in some way start over and this map will be after that they're made with our own assets yeah definitely so if, if we can get people interested and more people show yeah. show interest in the game and try the demo when it's released um no, no eta on that of course because it's very early development but give all the feedback they can from what they've seen uh, in screenshots yeah. and stuff that you share ideas and you can implement them and when the time does come to people for people to play test you never know people might it might explode and then you can you can do what, what you want yeah we would absolutely love that because you know uh, this is our hard project i would say like from the beginning you know it was like yeah we want to make something that like you know uh is like in our own minds like our better better version of those Definitely. two games. I said that in Discord like literally yeah. yesterday that I would love to be a working game dev, but it'd have to be something I'm passionate about, like to make a game that yeah. I want to play. Yeah, and you know, when we started working on it, it was like, yeah, this is really what we want to do. And 
this is what we really want to make and we will do it our own way and so that's why we are adding like functions that they don't have and like changing the concept a little so yeah you will be able to find the guns in the location like this and you will be able to take them of course so this is one of the other locations in the building but as i said each building will be accessible and each building will have different rooms and different like you know uh, looking like um, environment because yeah. no not not every building should be the same i would say like you can repeat some stuff but you can repeat it too much yeah exactly and the, and the quality speaks for itself if, if you put out something that's copy pasted everywhere people are going to pick up on yeah. that very quickly and if you yeah. take the time and put more effort into each placement and building and things people will notice that as well and they'll be like that's when they say this game has had a lot of love put into it and i can feel that just by work, walking around and yeah. that's how it it can kind of explode in that way word of mouth just people trying it or seeing it and saying it just looks like it's had a lot of yeah. love put into it so uh what i wanted to show you is even like we will have even small locations like this which is basically a diner which is our main screenshots are uh, screenshot i would say now and again it's enterable so you can go inside it will brighten up do you see that yep that's yeah, the thing it, it looks awesome so again like it's a different location even though we are using the same assets as in the big diner you can see that like the feeling is different yeah the lumen really works well as well it's the, yep. the, the bounce lighting and stuff where it just lights it every room feels alive kind of thing yeah exactly like that's why we go for like unreal engine because we love what it can do so every time you add used to the location which is great even for the like you know uh, things like uh, flashbangs and things like that because we yeah. want players to use them so if you will, will be going to a building like this and like from the outside you can see it's pretty dark inside yeah and you know you need a second or two to adduce to your eyesight you will have to use that flashbang if you want to make sure that like you know, yeah no definitely one so the locations are even like this that you have stores and things like that like make it living is like our main point we want to make sure that like it looks lively even though it's like long time dead city <laughs> yeah yeah i know what you so mean. the foliage will be basically even in the cities like this and we will basically try to overgrown the whole city oh you should know how much i love overgrowth in the sea <laughs> <laughs> i love that look yeah like from this point we we are trying to get the look of uh, i legend movie if you know yeah it will spit uh we actually loved the design of i uh, i legend so we were like yeah we should go for it for the first map so that's where we will be like you know going with the foliage and like overgrown stuff yeah so this is our biggest building in the map for example and it's as you can see it's full of glass and yeah. it's a hotel so it will be like you know there is an entry point to the hotel there is reception and everything basically again like we have made quite a lot of stuff i would say in that short time <laughs> yeah so there is again station with the clue or clues and so going back again to those laptops and you said about finding clues um yeah. I, I was thinking back to miscreated and you know it had a few bunkers that you had to unlock type thing yeah you could use um maybe that location for a boss as a bunker and you had to get the key code from the laptop maybe to unlock the bunker to get yeah it uh that's one of the things we were already thinking about oh, too good, good good and uh we were talking that we will have like even um some secret locations in the map not only for the boss but 
like really secret locations like bunkers and for example if you go here and it will spawn because it doesn't have to yeah there can be spawned like a card and yeah on the you table will have yeah. To, yeah you will have to figure out oh because that that kind of thing it is is yeah. uh, little examples of that in other places like daisy maps i don't know if you saw the daisy yeah. maps made by john yeah. McLean. Where you, see, you, you had the underground bunkers and people would fight getting in and out of the bunkers. Or Livonia's yeah. a new bunker that they added in the last big update. And you, you yeah. go in there for the good loot, but you're fighting on the way out. So if you're doing it in, in your game and you've got the boss area and people are fighting for that, that boss, you're going to fight your way out and in against players, yeah. the boss, AI. It could offer like a really epic tactical kind of experience that the others don't really offer. Yeah, we actually have one location and I will show it to you in a minute. Uh, basically, here is even the elevators. I had to build like uh, even the like shafts for the elevators in this building. And this building is not pre-made. It's made like like wall by wall. Yeah. So I have spent like three days working on this building. It, what's it called? The, the pre? You've got all the prefabs and you've put it together yourself. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm doing on the wall map. Basically, yeah. everything you see is placed by me by hand. And it's like really small things like this, for example. So I basically have like the, uh, for example, this box. I have the box. I have the like, uh, how it is called, the coverage for it. You, mean, you know what I mean? And I have to put it together like by hand, one part. Yeah after another so yeah this is what was made like in three days of my work and you have even the stairs of course because we don't want you to go only by the elevator which will be functional but we want you to have another option to go to the like upper floors and this is like a hotel so it will have like three entry points one is fire escape second is elevators and third is of course the stairs so there will be always more places to go and like you know try to find oh the weather changed so it's raining outside <laughs> nice what well, weather and... system are you using uh yeah this system is basically uh, something called dynam uh, dynamic weather and we of course modified it heavily for our purposes. Uh, we are thinking that um, we shouldn't have like a night map and like a day map separately. So we were thinking about the timing and everything and like the match should, shouldn't be longer than 45 minutes. And if you go to the match you will begin at the morning and in those 45 minutes it will be basically 12 uh, 24 hours so it will like you know change yeah. during gameplay like i would say not too fast but like pretty fast and the weather changes during that too and we made it so the weather doesn't change like it shouldn't because we have even the snow for example oh have you got have you got snow landing yeah 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 exactly that's something we are working actually right now we have like snow falling uh, basically active but we needed just to cover you know, enough spaces so yeah. we are taking that now and we of course don't want you to go like into the game like uh, it was like clear sky before a minute and now it's raining which is all right because it's a light rain and you know and that's what happens in the real life it shouldn't like start snowing when you had a clear sky of course yeah so exactly we basically programmed it so it doesn't have the extremes in it and what about a thunderstorm where audio is just eliminated during the thunderstorm you can't yeah it. yeah actually <laughs> I, I can show you something. I will just have to... Oh, you've got all the good ideas, Lord. I don't, I don't need to give you anything. <laughs> uh, I, will, I will change even the stream window. Just a second. Because I've said about this so many times when I'm playing Hunt. Imagine if they had thunderstorms and, and they're like, oh, I can't do it because yeah. the engine can't support it at the moment. And like, oh, no. Yeah. So you should be able to even hear now, like... The game because I changed the window, so I will 
show you at least something. This is, for example, the snow. And it like really changes the atmosphere. Yeah, I think this is the pack that Halkiana uses because she's yeah. build, building her own game yeah. and it's snow definition. Exactly. Yeah. And we just basically modified it for our own purposes, of course, because everyone should at least modify it a little. So we have even the train, uh, rain thunderstorm again. So I will go outside so you can hear it actually. Oh, yep, I can hear it. Yeah, that sounds awesome. That's perfect. Oh my god, I'm actually just imagining now in a tense moment in gunfight. And then this <laughs> yeah. starts and you're just too scared to move. Yeah, exactly. And when you are outside, you have, of course, the, you know, uh, rain on your face, like the water, so... It makes it harder to see, even. And you can hear, because I'm like uh, under the roof now, it like faded away. And when I go inside, it's like, you know... Oh my god. Yeah, so, it's so good. So, as for the fog, yeah, that's something we have to like set up yet, like, so the fog doesn't enter the building. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only problem right now with it. But yeah, so this system is like amazing thing and when you play enough of it and set, you know, everything how you want, it's just, oh my god, it's amazing. We actually love it as much as we can. It made like a lot of things easier, you know, for us. Yeah, definitely. So you can go basically in the hotel. Uh, not each room will be available in the hotel. I have to say that. Oh like, yeah, we wouldn't expect every room. In a, like, in a big building like that. Yeah, like you will be able to enter every building. You will be enter to, uh, able to like enter basically every room. But we have a, like at least like, you know, make something not accessible. It, will, it wouldn't even make the sense, you know, to be able to go to each room. Yeah. Sometimes there are locked doors. So basically, uh, this is one of the possible spawns for the boss. It's not yet ready, of course. We will have to like add a lot of things here. But this will be one of the locations that the boss can spawn. There will be a lot more vines even on the windows and barricades, so you will not be just like easily shot from the or a roof or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so maybe they could just see like the flashes of gunshots from outside, maybe yeah. where you're fighting it and cool little atmosphere type yeah. effects. And we will have basically a breakable window on each part so if you like get shot through the windows you will know it because the window will bre break yeah Italy. so this is the third this is the fire escape and you can basically go wherever you want from that fire escape you just have to like you know break the window and if you break the window of course someone can hear you again yeah so this is basically the highest point in the map or one of the highest points you will be able to go so we have like rooms prepared here and this is like fine thing because it's a hotel so you expect in the hotel that like the rooms will be like almost the same but we are trying to make them still look a little different if you can notice it's like you know there is like a fallen like shelf there is like moved yeah. bed you know another like you know trash and things like that so it looks like the same but it's different still so we have prepared like a lot of rooms as you can see already it is the vip basically it's actually one of my favorite because if you want to snipe from here it's like yeah you can see the whole city from here yeah that's awesome so this is basically like the highest floor. Uh, we will have destructible doors, so you will be able to shoot basically the planks of it. And you will be not be able just to shoot through it, but it will like break 
and that Okay, way. are you going to use the Chaos Physics Engine yeah, for that? Yeah, we are using Chaos for it. So, it's going like to be really fun to shoot through the doors and oh, definitely. whoever is hiding there, you know, you can kill him like that. So, this is one of the highest points, of course, of the map. And, like, you can see basically everywhere, but not so far, like, so you would see around the map. And, of course, each, basically, part of the map, we are trying to have, like, locations, location, locations, I would say, like, important things and like yeah, okay. your points of interest so if you're yeah. playing with other people you can say oh play a spot over it and then say like gas station or diner or yeah yeah basically because i want to stop people to to go only for one place because in a lot of games it happens that like you know you figure out the location and you are still like camping there and going only there yeah so we are trying to diverse it enough so you will have like you know good vantage points for example on more places you will have uh, more hidden stuff on different places so you will be able to go everywhere yeah and that takes me back to daisy as well with the high rises not spawning loot properly for so long i just don't use the high rises on daisy so yeah even if they did start spawning really good loot i still don't go there because they they just were broken for so long on the loot table yeah I absolutely understand that thing. Right? So if you give people the uh, choice and say, right, well, you can go in this high rise, it's going to have some decent loot in there, or you can go on this rooftop, you can make your choice and yep. it's all going to be worth it if you don't die. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, like, we will have, like, even the, like, loot that spawns, like, always, but we will have even the loot that spawns, like, at random, as I have said. So you will be able to surprise yourself in every match. Yeah, so like when you're saying about missions, if you didn't want to do the boss, you could go do other challenges. You could have like, yeah, go exactly. to the hotel rooms at so-and-so down the road and check for a certain item in each hotel room and collect them and yep. extract successfully with them. Exactly. So this is like one of the small locations. It will be like a military camp on the roof. We are again trying to like simulate at least a little like you know how it could really look if it yeah was they, the only, like, only feedback for high points like rooftops i'd give is make sure there's always a counter point yeah there's never a roof that's higher than everywhere else and you can't be kind of counted from yeah that's that's a, what we were actually thinking too about like as you can see uh even though you are here you can be shot from different buildings yeah and you can be shot even from the hotel so it's like good spot but like it's dangerous too because we want to, to make sure that if you go up on any building you will not be safe that doesn't mean you are safe yeah definitely so and we will have even the ai to spawn even on the buildings so you will have to be careful when you will be going there oh yeah that'll make things interesting so as you can see like we will like a huge part of the city we have like small locations like this that make like the atmosphere better i would say yeah definitely and like everything is enterable but like for these buildings we don't have like yet the insides so it's empty right now but as i told you you will be able to go everywhere you want we will uh, we don't want to like you know make players like star sized i would say yeah well just what you've shown me now in the two months you've been working on it with the team uh, you've got me super excited <laughs> i just want to play it now and we are always trying you know when you are entering the entry points we are always trying to focus on the point of the player how it looks from the side you know if you are entering if you can cover if you can't what what you can do where can you move you know and everything like that yeah. You want to make sure it's like fun, even though you know there is enemy, but you will need to have at least a chance to fight. Yeah, so that, so that road that goes out to that extraction point you showed me earlier, that's, yeah. is that more cover going to be put out on that road? Because it looks like yeah. people that are running up and get shot from people camping the extraction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's still a, a little too much empty. 
so we will be like filling it much more up and there will be even one more entry point or two yeah and that will be like there will be a stairs so you will be able to go on the stairs like from one side and from another and they will be on the same spot good stuff well it seems like you know what you're doing because uh yeah i'm actually um a game critic <laughs> so yeah, oh, yeah well i've known you for a while and i know you've, yeah. uh, you've always been big on this type of game so yeah and i was like always like you know writing about games reviewing games and so i see some stuff that like you know they are missing sometimes and i'm just trying to make sure we don't miss anything like that and i know we can make it perfect like it's like as team it's our first game exactly we, yeah. we can't do like everything like 100 percent, but we will try you know and i want it to be a good experience for every for everyone who wants to play it so i'm trying even on the locations you know to really like think about everything most of the time i am basically creating a location like this i just put their ai i take the weapon and i go into the location and i think about it like if i, I was entering there and, and there could be players somewhere i need to know if it's too much or not you know yeah so as you can see there is a lot of small details again it's a little gory <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah like we are really trying to make the environment like top notch i would say like to make it interactable and fun and there is like a lot of other things we haven't shown yet it's like this small things that will make it again li lively you know small shelter like that uh, when we are creating like a hole in the fence for example we are just making sure the fence is somewhere near you know because it wouldn't make sense like you know that the fence is not there just like that yeah. so we make sure the fence is like for example like this yeah so this is basically another location which is going even underground and it will be one of the exits of the map again uh not every exit will be open of course during the game so it will yeah. basically be again random so you join the game and you will have like two or three exits you can use but yeah this will be one of them like underground station that goes out of the city it's like still work in progress again but yeah you have like several entry points again like you can go here from the woods there is like small you know walk path you can go through here of course it's definitely good to see that you know what you're what you're doing and what you want yeah the most important part for us is like having fun i would say like we want people to have fun in that game and we were thinking even about monetization and things like that already and we want to make it like you know we want to make sure that it's fair so uh we know that people will maybe not like it but we want to make the game like buy to play yeah and the only thing that you who can who like pay after that you we will have a battle pass basically yeah but again only with the skins and things like that and we will not have skins like warzone and or games like that that you can get, have a golden weapon or anything like that Be stuff to see to your lore and world yeah 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 we don't want to you know pink rabbits running here or something like that so would you do kind of like the style of the hunters in hunt yeah like, exactly yeah but it'd be we more, be more like survivors like tactical survival yeah. type thing yeah exactly you will be able to like you know use a lot of skins you will be able to like edit your character you will be able to edit your weapons you will be able to buy a lot of stuff but it will still be like you know making sense in the world yeah and purely cosmetic nothing to make exactly it overpowered. nothing like you know we were uh, actually working with most of our team on different project before uh, and it was like you know just work for us it wasn't fun at all and we were working uh, for the uk company on a crypto project and 
I have to tell you, we were so pissed off, like, because of that. Yeah. Because that's not something we want to see in the games. Like, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, anything like that is for us a no-no. So we said, like, we don't want even the monetization in the game like that. And we just want, you know, people to, like, have fun and enjoy the, uh, the game, like, you know, with the skins only. Yeah, and of course, if they didn't want the Battle Pass, they don't have to have it. And it just supports yeah. you more, though, if they do get it. That's the way I look exactly. at it. Yeah, and the Battle Pass will be, like, you know, made so you can do it again even without paying for it. But it will be, like, you know, there will be some exclusive stuff, of course, for yeah. someone who will pay for it. That's something we can't like do because uh, we need to do. I would say like because we need to live from something. Yeah, exactly. Even now we are basically paying for everything from our own pockets, so it's not easy. I would say. So yeah, this is basically the biggest location on the map, and i think i didn't show one more thing and that's like more exclusive right now oh. i didn't show it to anyone yet and yeah i love the forest man <laughs> yeah the forests in unreal look amazing like yeah this i can't even imagine the fights that can happen here you know it would mostly be me running through there away from the danger screaming yeah probably. <laughs> we are still thinking if we want in the game like um, the like um, prone option. Yeah, that is a that's a yeah that's a definitely a tough yeah. choice. Uh, like right now we are like more like sixty percent that we will not have the prone. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. I think. Yeah, because uh, in the forest when you prone. You are invisible. Yeah, people are gonna cheese that massively. Yeah, and we don't want like just campers, you know, like lying in the like bushes there. So that wouldn't make us. It, it's something I definitely don't miss in Hunt that you can't prone. I don't yeah. ever think I wish I could prone. It's never entered my head. So, so that's what happens if you don't visit a location for a longer time. <laughs> I love because how dense the woods is, as, uh, the woods yeah. are as well. Like you will get lost here, like oh, yeah. <laughs> many times. <laughs> You're lost already, and you made it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like ah, here it is. So this will be basically a bunker that you can enter with the card I was talking about. Yeah. So you will not know from which you know place the card is, but if you can manage to find in the woods something like this you can enter it with the guard right now we have like you know a pre-made asset here so it's going to change i will show you how i mean it like so this is basically a fire range we bought it like like this okay yeah it's, it's like one of the main assets that you can buy on the epic and like we love it but we will change it like like 90 percent <laughs> yeah give it your so, own look yeah we are actually uh, preparing already so you will be able like we will have a hole like this because that hole is not a part of it the firing range and like you know the story is part of it and you will be able to go even through those doors and there will be like a big garages and like more rooms and everything underground yeah, that's so it cool. will be pretty huge location underground. So yeah, this is like the more hidden part of the map now, and like you know, it's it's like one of the places that the players will have to find themselves after that. Because even if you show them in the video right now, trust me, they will not find it so easily. Yeah, it's. I, I just love how the how the forest looks, how dense it is, and that you can do all this yeah. now. Like the forest is amazing. Like that's that's something we were working. Uh, I think like almost two weeks. The good so thing like, as well with having that bunker out there, people are gonna once they know about it, they're gonna be wandering out there and fighting. Yeah. In the, uh, it's just gonna uh, it's gonna be amazing. You're getting me too excited. 
<laughs> well, I'm glad because if I can excite you, you know, it means that I can excite even more people, and that's like good thing for me. <laughs> that's the thing. So you said as well that you're having, you're all having so much fun making the game, and that on its own yeah. is, is a good thing. Yeah, like you know, that's a thing we want to make sure. Like, uh, if we enjoy it, we know that like people will enjoy it. Definitely. And Definitely feel your passion and love in the project. This is basically the highest point on the volume up where you will be able to go. We will have like more places like this, for example. But yeah, as you can see, this is basically the one with the zip lines. And again, there will be like several entry points, not only to this building, but even to the others. Yeah. So you will be able to get here like from many places. You don't have to be afraid, you know. And even if you are here, you can be shot from other roofs. You can sh be shot from the hotel. As you can see, I can see the rooms there. Yeah. And for example, on this, because this is the highest point, there will be not much place to hide, basically, like here. So you will have to be really careful when you want here. I like that GTA weapon animation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, those things you know we were thinking how to do it like so we don't have every time you know to, to like spawn a gun for our, uh, for ourselves and things like that we have even the mini map which will not be a, uh, like in the game but yeah. it's good for us for now like for the testing purposes so we are just having fun with it and like my friend was like yeah i know a system i can use for that and i was like great and when he put it there i was like oh man those gta wipes i <laughs> i was laughing my ass off of course we have volumetric clouds by the way oh nice they are really moving they are throwing shadows and everything and the zip lines are actually working so Yeah. It's quite slow because we need to adjust the speed. Yeah. But yeah. So you will be able to go like basically like this. So if you see players here, for example, fighting or something, you can go behind yeah, them. Yeah, you can that. surprise them. And the zip lines will change, I think, a lot of fights. Because, again, like this is a dangerous location. And we don't want to make players like, no, you can't go there because it wouldn't be fun. So if you want to go on the roof, you are risking quite a lot and there is not so much places to hide. So that's why we told about the zip lines that, yeah, why not? Like we will give you like, you know, option to escape really fast. But that's the only thing you get for that risk on that roof. Yeah. You can like, you know, basically leave quickly, quickly but it will be not easy. <laughs> even though uh, we were thinking even about like shooting when you are holding the rope and you can be shot down. And it will be not like you get one shot into the body and you fall. But if someone shoots you into the hand, you will slip. And just probably one more thing that's just popped into my head is your time to kill. Are you going to be more like Hunt, where it's more realistic on Rantarkov as well as bows, where less shots to kill somebody, not bullet yeah. spongy? Uh, it will be more like Hunt in that case. Yeah, I love Hunt's yeah. gunplay and damage. Yeah. yeah, we love it too, actually. We love it even more than like Tarkov, even though like, you know, Tarkov has like really nice guns. So we will be like going for the more Hunt style that you know it's more fair i would say yeah like in the hunt you really enjoy the fights yeah you do even if you lose it's, it's a good time yeah 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 that's, that's the thing you know you have the feeling like from from that match and you are like yeah that was so nice fight mate and in the hunt uh, in the hunt this is like a standard but in tarkov it happens that like you know it's a blink of an eye and you yeah. had basically no chance. So we want to balance the guns to be 
much more in the style of hunt, which will be not easy. I'm not going to oh, lie. Oh, definitely not. If you're having modern weapons here, modern yeah. machine guns, uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, it's going to be. But still, you know, uh, we will make it happen somehow. <laughs> we we will make sure it's like you know more fun. Like we were thinking even about the armors, for example. Yeah, and uh, that's a thing we like to, uh, said that like we will not use like in the Tarkov again. So you will not have like armor, like armor. I would say in that sense, it will be more like in the war zone. Where uh, yeah, you, put you the have like on. basically you will have plates, you know. So yeah, basically you get destroyed plates. You can be shot down and again the plates will not be working if you get a headshot or a shot into the hand or a leg so it's it's really like important yeah that, that, that could work yeah if you uh make headshots yeah. count like like always then yeah exactly we will make sure that like every time you get shot if it's head hands or legs the armor doesn't count because it shouldn't you yeah. have it on your basically upper body only. So would you go full on with the armor mechanic and have place you could re-put on or if you found them? Um, or just limited to the place you start with? Yeah, that's something we are still thinking of if we want to like to have the option to refill them. But we are thinking mostly no. Yeah. You, you will get basically one armor and it gets destroyed, it's destroyed. And then you've just got your bandages to rely on for your normal yeah, health. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And again, the health will not be like, you know, in the Tarkov sense, like again, it will be more in the hunt style. Yeah, so it's a lot easier to handle. Yeah. We just want to make sure it's fun even in these things, because like, you know, uh, Saving yourself in Tarkov is like pain in the ass sometimes. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The, the, when you put too much effort into that kind of thing, it takes the fun away. People don't want to yeah. spend half their time playing healing and figuring out which medkit is the right medkit for their injury. They just want to heal and get back to the fight. Exactly, exactly. And that's basically what we will have. We will have a first skate, we will have a bandage, for example, and we will have like something like a reviver. Defibri uh, defibrillator you know yeah and uh, that's uh, again one of the things we were thinking about if we want you to have that defibrillator always so you can revive your teammate or we will make it an item that you can put into your backpack when you are going into the match you could do yeah you could have a longer yeah. revive maybe with hands pumping on the chest and then if you've got the yeah. defib it's a lot quicker yeah, so we are thinking even about this and how to implement it correctly. But yeah, I think it will be a lot of fun even though. So yeah, basically this is like Project Hunter. It's just a code name now. We will of course change the name in the future, but right now it's known like that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta think of a cool yeah. name and something that's gonna fit the what you're going for. So definitely interesting and got me excited so i'm really glad to hear that like you want to make sure it's like interesting for everyone who loves games like that oh I'll, I'll definitely be all over it once you've got those playtests ready 